Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this CRT TV pixelized style effect. So this is from my new Premiere Pro effects preset pack, which is available for sale on my website, justinodisho.com now. And these are 75 plus drag and drop effects like so. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this kind of CRT pixelized effect with a few filter combinations. So to start from scratch, we're going to first want to go to the extract filter in the adjust video effects folder and drag that onto our video clip. So this is going to kind of split the image into a black and white extraction and we can adjust the black, white and softness levels based on our image. So, you know, if I'm working with this face here, I just want to make sure the black level kind of gets the features and the contrast properly. And then it's kind of up to my taste on where to pull the black and white, just so I can kind of see the original image. And then you can increase the softness a good amount so that it's less like a ink extraction and more just like a cool black and white type of look. So I'm pulling that softness up quite a bit and we're going to leave it not inverted. The next thing we want to do to create that pixelized look is add a grid effect on top. So this is in the generate video effects folder. And if I click and drag that onto this image, I basically want to drag the corner points in to the point where we have these basically tiny pixel boxes and you can drag them in as much as you need. And you can also increase or decrease the border amount once we're kind of there. But what I'm going to do is set this on multiply blending mode and just make sure I set the color of that grid to black. So now it overlays that on top. That's kind of what's going to give us our pixel separation. But I just want to increase the border amount and the corner amounts. I want to just pull them in enough so that we get that pixelized look, but we can still see the original image. So this already is shaping up to be a cool looking effect, but in order to give it that red, green, blue CRT TV style split, we're going to look in the VR effects folder for the digital glitch effect. That's the VR digital glitch in the immersive video effects folder. And this is only available in, I think, 2018 and newer versions. But this is going to help give us that red, green, and blue color split, which is really going to sell that TV look. And in the VR digital glitch, you can just adjust kind of like the amount of distortion. So you have the master amplitude. You can do less or more distortion. In my case, I don't want to do too much. But we just want to just get that red, green, and blue split start to happen. And you can play around with some of these other settings to just kind of adjust the strength or spread of the effect. And you have all kind of options on exactly how far things are distorted horizontally or vertically, and also how far the colors are shifted in which way. The VR digital glitch stays static, but you actually have the ability to animate it if you adjust the distortion evolution. So I can add a keyframe at the beginning and then a keyframe at the end and just make it go through one, revel one cycle, so to speak, and that'll just animate things a little bit. But from this point, you can kind of just play around with the size of the grid. If you want like a more open pixel or closed pixel, the border and corner amounts and the strength of your distortion. And then if you want, you can throw whatever else colors or effects you want on top. But that's a basic combination to transform your image into this pixelized CRT style effect. I'm really uh, proud of this. I don't think I've seen anyone else kind of use the grid in this way to pixelize things and then split them. So if you want to get this as a drag and drop preset that I've already built and set up for you, you can find this plus 75 other effects in my Premiere Pro Effects Pack 2 available for sale now on my website. And you can also check out more effects and transitions in my Pack 1. You can get bundles 1 and 2 for a bundle deal. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a couple tricks. And I'll see you in the next video.